good evening dear friends welcome back to the third hackathon on the artificial intelligence and let me just tell you that his thought to get this hackathon he is actually creating vibration and the ripple effect which is going at the india level is something which is unimaginable more importantly let me just share with you that in the process we all are learning the learning is going to a different level only for a simple reason i make the statement that the youngsters who are actually coming forward and showcasing their talent as a panelist is actually motivating our senior members also thank you daya sir and it's a uh... encouraging as always to listen to you and this time it's a easy thing to adopt technology by listening to you and uh, yes sir uh, we all are very excited for today's hackathon and uh, as you said these hackathons are becoming like uh, ipl matches many offices are uh, showing it live on their screen and articles and employees all of them are sitting together and uh, uh people are giving ranking so it has become like dream 11 team or circle 11 team who will uh, uh, score how many runs so it has become a, like an uh, ipl uh, season like a ai hackathon season for all of us so thanks to all the panelists thanks to all participants and uh, let's start our today's third hackathon and i welcome our first panelist for the day to start the hackathon and i will request shantanu agrawal to come on live and present his use case over to you shantanu thank you thank you mr i'll just share my screen if Bef uh, before that shantam uh, yes, it's a request for all participant to give ranking to the uh, panelist once they are done with their use case and your ranking will be given and three top panelist will be chosen and further more they will given a chance for the final ai hackathon which will be there so vishnu please help shantanu for the timing over to you shantam yes sir uh, is my screen visible yes ppt okay okay Good evening, uh, my esteemed colleagues. Myself, Shree Shanta Magarwal, practicing in Chandrapur, Maharashtra. I am honored to be here today to discuss a use case of AI in word processing, drafting, and document creation. Something that I believe can break, greatly benefit us. In our day-to-day -day work, we often find ourselves dealing with various cases of drafting of replies to income tax and GST notices. That can be tedious process to read the notice and prepare the reply manually. However, with the help of Uh, AI. We now have powerful tools that can help us draft our replies to any notice. Today, I like to share with you a specific example of how we can leverage the power of AI with the help of Claude AI to summarize GST notice, drafting its reply, and automated formatting in Word using VBA. You might have used Chat GPT to draft a reply to a notice, which you have to read. the whole notice and then ask gpt ask chat gpt to prepare a reply but what if i tell you that you don't even have to read a notice and ai will help you summarize the contents of the notice and then prepare a reply based on your inputs and that too in a format you like so imagine a scenario where the client have come to you with a hard copy of the gst notice for e invoicing and he wants you to draft a reply to that notice manually reading and then drafting a reply to that notice would be a tedious and time consuming process but with the help of cloud ai we can automate this task and save our uh, save our valuable time now let's demonstrate the use case with an example let me share my screen again vishnu please help yes Are you able to see my uh, a GST notice image yes. file? Yes. Yeah. 
okay okay so suppose uh, this is the hard copy uh, which i have client uh, uh, provided to us and draft, uh, ask her to reply a uh, draft a reply then what we can do is go to cloud ai cloud ai why cloud ai cloud ai is a free tool provided by google where you can upload a document and uh, ask anything around it so what i'll do i just copy paste this image to cloud ai image is uploading the image is uploaded now now i'll write summarize this document for me now claudia i will uh, will summarize this document what is written in their uh, gst notice so the key points are uh, they have mentioned uh, uh, that the, you have to generate e invoice if uh, is more than the five crores and in the fifth point the notice instruct the business to comply with the e invoicing requirement within five days now <clears throat> this client uh, is a uh, petrol uh, petroleum client so it it has a petroleum and it sells uh, petrol diesel speed poles uh, speed petrols and uh, some lubricants also but the amount of uh, volume of lubricants is very slow and uh, mostly the uh, sale of diesel petrol are uh, non gst supplies so what i can do is just give a prompt or ask cloud ai i've made that uh, simplest reply and ask uh, cloud ai to prepare a uh, reply so i'll write okay make a reply letter to the gst authority with reference and subject saying that we are in the business of petrol pump where mostly goods are non gst supplies like petrol and diesel we also sell oil however the quantum of oil is very less and that too in b2c model as per exemption notification of e invoicing both non gst supplies and b2c transactions are exempted from e invoicing hence there is no scope uh, scope for us to issue e invoice as there are no b2b transaction and it is requested to consider the same and now put it enter now cloud ai will generate the reply see it has addressed the uh, officer with reference and then prepared a whole reply now <clears throat> we have to mention the name and the uh, proprietor name its signature and uh, the seal also for that we should copy this uh, reply and paste it to a word word format now this is a blank word format where i will paste this draft reply now you can see the draft uh, dra draft reply has come to our uh, the microsoft word document but the formatting is not that good all the uh, fonts are uh, uh, not in times roman if you want to uh, the fonts in times roman and there is a space between this uh, paragraphs now if we do the formatting uh, using ai what we can do we can ask chat gpt or cloud ai to uh, automate our formatting also so for that i have prepared a prompt which says i want to automate the formatting in word document for every time i paste a reply in word document using a shortcut key generated by vba code the formatting should contain the following all the fonts should be in times new roman all the fonts should be in 11 in size all salutations do dear uh, respected subject reference should be in bold there should be no space before or after any paragraphs line spacing should be one in whole document and all fonts should be justified in alignment please generate a vba code for me and provide a shortcut key to incorporate the formatting into into the word document so i'll just copy paste this I'll again ask Cloud AI to generate a VBA code for me. See, the Cloud AI is now generating the VBA code for automating the formatting. So, this uh, code I have already uh, pasted here in my prompt. So, I'll just copy this and go to my uh, Word document. Press 
alt F 11 insert module and paste that code into this and click save. Now <clears throat> it is asking me to uh, save on a macro uh, format. So I'll say no, yes, uh, prepare in a uh, save in a macro format. So I'll just Now the document is saved as a macro enabled word document. Now <clears throat> I'll go again to the file, then options, then customize ribbon, then keyboard shortcuts and customize. Here, what I can do is select a macro and select a document and define a new shortcut key, uh, shortcut key to automate the formatting in case, in that case, uh, in this case, I am using control shift V and then assign and then close and then okay. And now if I select all the document, all the contents of the document and press control shift V last two minutes remaining. Yes. So now you can see, uh, the, all the fonts are in uh, times new Roman and the font size is 11. And all the salutations like this respected subject to are in uh, bold and all the alignments are in justified. This way we can use uh, AI for our day to day uh, uh, reply drafting. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it from my side. Thank you. Thank you, Shantam, for a wonderful first case study and use case on the GST notices then cloud AI, then jet GPT, then VBA code, and then to the word. Dear participants, it's a very uh, interesting to note that how Shantam has used the resources to make a notice within shorter time. Plus, but do remember the client data sharing before uh, uh, sharing it on any platform. And uh, this was the one of the best uh, uh, thing that uh, anybody can use in is in practice with atmosphere and it's within second the reply has been prepared.